Uh, Terry, go ahead. You have something that you wanted to bring up, please. We didn't talk about it yesterday, but the Lions finally did it. They're going to have cheerleaders this year. Oh, that'll fix everything. Yeah. I, well, look, uh, I had kind of been told that Martha Ford was not happy with some of the aspects of the game day experience. She wanted you, the fans, to come to the games earlier so you can buy some different stuff and blah, blah, blah. Easy for her to say. She shows up in a helicopter. She's not show up in a helicopter. <laughs> no, I saw her come to a game. It was a, a black Mercedes. Why can't these people one time. Get, get here earlier? <laughs> She's landing on the roof. No, you know who used to do that? Tom Monahan. You do whatever you want. You're he, rich. He had a roof on top of, I think it was the Checker Cab Company across from Tiger Stadium. Hey, man, I don't hate That's on it. That's how you got there. Good for her. She's coming from, not him. Oh, I'm not, not her. She I drives. <laughs> or someone drives. I don't know how that I is. I love you, Terry. I love you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, go ahead. No, but the, the, what they want to um, address is the game day experience. And I understand. You mean actually winning games? When you win, that makes the game day experience better. But fans have been calling for this for a long time, and I think part of the Lions were tired of – they wanted to give the, the, the fans a carrot. Instead of saying no all the time, they say, okay, we'll give you your cheerleaders. All right. But so here, what do you need from me? Here's my question for you and the people. I don't know if they're going to call them, but cheerleaders, does it add to the game day experience where you will enjoy it more, even if the Lions are getting their asses kicked? Uh, you know before, what I'm saying? On, before we get to this, because you're, you're missing a major point in this. Uh, has Rod Wood commented on this? I know there, there's a press release, right? Uh, here's what he said. Yeah, I just hit delete on it. Go ahead. No, no. The Ford family's unwavering. They use that word a lot. Yeah, of, sure they do. Keep going. The Ford family's unwavering their commitment to improving the Detroit Lions fan experience on and off the field, Wood right. said in the statement. After thorough consideration and receiving input from our fans, through season ticket member surveys and focus groups, we believe that this is an opportunity to elevate our game day entertainment. Okay, good for him. So here's my question. Are they full-time employees? No. Oh. No. See, there's the dirty secret how the NFL and these teams operate. This always kills me, right? These teams make hundreds of millions of dollars, but you can't put the ladies on the payroll? You can't take care of them, make them full-time employees? You can't take care of all the costs it costs to be a cheerleader, the time, the sweat equity, the rehearsals. Now, you know what most of these teams do? This is why these cheerleaders across the league are suing these teams. I'll tell you right now, there shouldn't be a single woman who goes out there and does a cheer for this team or any team in this country unless they were made full-time employees. June 25th. No, I hope nobody shows up. All right, here's another. All right, here's Lousy thing. wages that will not yield. All right, Mike. Here, here. Seasonal to this employment. When, we when, won't when pay for stops. a squad. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make your head explode. Hey, go ahead. Go, ladies. Okay. I'm, I want to read this to you. I want you to fully digest this. Mm -hmm. The Lions will have tryouts starting Saturday, June 25th at Ford Field. Ready? Registration is 20 $5. Oh, they got some set of balls. In other words, they got you've got to pay $25 <laughs> to show up for registration. Oh, man, pay me to dance. Oh, my God, they got some set of balls down there. Mm -hmm. Talk about a nickel and dime operation. Balls. $25 to come and dance for those jokers. What are you, nuts? What, for they tryout? Should, they should be paying the girls to show up. Mike, you could pay the $25 and not dance. Right. Oh, this you get is, it? Yeah, this is nuts. But the, you know what? This, I think it was the Bills cheerleaders turned around and sued the Bengal cheerleaders. And and you know what? These women are right. They're a hundred percent right. These teams exploit them. They pay them fifty bucks a game, seventy five dollars a game, and these women take on a second job. Now I know what you're gonna say. Nobody puts a gun to their head for them to do it. And you're right. I think any of these ladies that dance for these teams are out of their damn mind. But it doesn't mean it's right. These teams make hundreds of millions of dollars, and they don't treat these ladies like human beings. Oh, but we're giving them exposure. Shut up and cut them a check. Pay the girls like full-time employees. This is what I mean. All these teams. It's nonsense. Well, I think the, the leader, Rebecca Gerard Smoker, is going to be a full-time employee. Good for her. What about the rest of the girls?
Oh, great. Mother Hen gets to be a full-time employee. Oh, I'm telling you, I know how this works. I, I'm telling you how it works. No, that's Everybody the way thinks it is. the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are like millionaires out there, they're celebrities. Please, they pay these girls in special K snack bars. It's ridiculous. The hair, the makeup, the, the, the working out, the practice, the photo shoots, the community events. They don't pay them squat. Some of the teams have paid for their gym memberships. Oh, yippee, a $20 bill a month. How magnanimous. <laughs> they don't want them to blow up on the field, right, but Mike. But I, I think it's asinine. I don't, I don't know why these ladies do this, and I don't know why the teams do it either. I don't understand anybody. I don't understand anybody. I think for the you ladies. You know what? Here, I'll tell you. Right, I'll, 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 right, let, let, me, let me equate it to the story today. If you go down to try out for this Lions team to cheerlead and aren't going to be a full-time employee and aren't going to get paid, you're just as bad as these people that didn't know Gordy Howe going down there and Snapchatting. You're the same person. But don't they get paid? They just don't get paid a lot? Dude, they get paid like 50 bucks a game. They spend more on that on the hair and nails. I mean, I, come on. Maybe if you make the team, they'll give you back your $25 they, they, they administration fee. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do, everybody. I'm gonna Terry's going to die and then charge you to go to his funeral. That's the equivalent of what the Lions are doing for these cheerleaders. $25 registration fee. Next thing you know, Rod Wood's going to be out there telling you he needs a new weight room. I need $25 from all the cheerleaders. Right. <laughs> Jesus. I thought they already paid for the uh, weight room. Uh, up next, the cheerleaders but, got to buy their own outfits. That's going to be a treat. But see, the, the key is why why are they doing it now? Because fans have been clamoring Who for cares? this for, for years. I'll leave it to the fans. I, I just, it, to me, I hate that these teams get away with it. I hate that the, the, that the women line up to do it. I don't mm -hmm. understand anything about the situation. To me, teams should be paying them, take care of benefits, and pay them a decent wage. Why? The part of your game day experience. Why? Because it's what fans demand. It's what fans want. And you're going to make money off those people. You're going to sell the calendars. You're going to do the community events. You're going to have them uh, go around and do all these things, right? Mm -hmm. Well, take care of them. Is it that hard to make them an employee well, of the team? Year round, pay uh, well, them a salary? You know what? Give them some benefits. He, here's the thing. If you make appearances and if you're on a calendar and everything, don't you get paid for that? I, dude. It's sort of like our street are team. Are you a full-time employee? Do you get benefits? Well, Do you get taken care of? No, you don't. No, that's why these no, that's cheerleaders true. are turning around and suing these teams. Team gets a check for a quarter of a million dollars to start the year. They're charging girls to, to, to $25 to go down and dance. A quarter of a billion, right? Well, not, not a million. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm exasperated by this.